Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my script showcase. Um, in this episode, I'm basically going to um go over some of the scripts that I'm using for my game Dawn Haven. So, to start off with, the first thing actually, I would like to start at the top. Um, one of the major ones that um I am using um is the battle system, which is the Pro ABS, and I've already done a video on this um script so it's basically all of this and then most of these things are add-ons but i suggest to use all of them if you're using the battle system um i do have a video tutorial on the whole battle system um you could um check that out i'll leave the link in the description down below and so that's the first one okay so um since my game is a big um game um I do use um an anti lag script, actually two to be effect. Um the first one is um the Victor Engine anti lag. Um so basically how this works is um DE update buffer. So basically whatever you set that to so basically how events work is um every event on the map is always running and that slows down your game um especially when you have a lot of events on one um, map like i do so what this does is it takes a value between zero and whatever number you want um i guess the max will be the maximum number of um the map that map size that you have so let's say since my thing is set to zero right now that means any event that's not on the on the current screen will not run and it will not be updated um so if i set that number to one that means so if the higher the number the more um the event off screen can um update so if i set it to one that means one tile outside of my field of vision and when i say field of vision i mean the screen um will buffer so if i set it to five and then let's say I have a auto run event or parallel parallel process event that's like um five tiles away that I can't see will run, but anything beyond that will not run. Of course, um there are other ways to bypass that via um comment call. So you could add a comment, always update or never update, and then add it to the um comments of the events that will tell it to that will tell it to basically run even if this anti lag thing is on. So I keep mine at zero. That means the event has to be on the screen to run. And then my special um parallel processes and auto run processes, I just use that um command to make them always run. Okay. Um I'm pretty sure I'm tr not trying to do I'm trying to do the simple ones that can explain easily. And, um, I would, and then the other ones that will take like a whole episode to do, I'm going to save them for later like this, um, perfect stat point distribution system. Um, the drop option, this, this one I really, really like because it allows you to, um, overcome the limits of the RPG Maker VS Ace engine, um, itself because the engine, um, just lets you let um let you give enemies three up uh, um, three items to drop and then this basically allows you to um basically let enemies drop more stuff than they usually do so basically all you have to do is copy this copy this event code and then go to your go to the item with actually the enemy my bad go to the enemy you would like them to um you would like to for them to drop more stuff. So I'm going to pick butterfly for example. Actually, let me see. I actually haven't assigned these. Okay, anyways. So butterfly for example, just add that. So basically all I would do is type ID. So what I would write, um, what I would change here is I will make it I, W, or A, um, which stands for armor, weapon armor, or item. And then I will put the ID and then I will put the probability. I can either do it in percentage or I could do it um, in fractional form. Um, so that's basically how that works. Um, I really like that script because um, I, I'm definitely going to have enemies that will drop a lot more um, stuff than three things. So, yeah. 
Da 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 da. Okay. X teleport. Um, this one's um another simple one. Um, I don't actually have to. So basically, what this does is basically give you extra move root options via um script call. So, um. So basically, like this. Um, for actually, let me punch something. So this, for instance, allows you to call um a common event. I mean, um, this allows you to control a cell switch from um an event move root. So you could definitely make a. You could in the move root you could set um cell switch A on or off by either changing this word status to true or false and then changing um this switch to the switch that you want either a b c or d so that's how that works and then over here is the same thing but um you just change the event id so basically it gives you extra move root options um for your event move roots so if you don't know what that is i will go ahead and um show you i guess go to the second page set move root so basically this when you're controlling your events um like this or um you could go to custom or you could again do it from here and then it basically just gives you more options than the command that's already there so moving down the x icon skill basically just changes your skills um the way it's displayed so it makes them into an icon instead of the regular list um how it displays in the past so instead of the list it gives you icons mm -hmm. um that's really no um options to like basically yeah this really um no, this is basically plug in place i don't need to explain to you guys how it works you just change these options for the fonts and the what um, other stuff that you want to do large choices i have made a video on this um day and night system um this one is a little it's not complicated but it would definitely take another video um the weather i think i've done a video on this but i will go ahead and explain anyways so um this weather okay the weather script that i use is basically um allows me to um make um, make dynamic weather so it'll it will snow it will rain or it will be sunny um these are the chances um that it will rain um that it will be sunny chances that it will rain storm and the custom ones you can set yourself down over here somewhere um and then um no weather maps is basically this is how you decide which maps will not have weather in it so basically this is where you will list all your indoor maps so it wouldn't rain um inside mm -mm 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 -mm. um remember event position um this is useful um in many um different situations like let's say you wanna um let's say you want the actor to place an object on the floor and then keep it there for the rest of the game this will definitely come in handy because as you may, may or may not know if you change an event um location and then you exit the game or exit the map and come back the event will always restart the um the event will always reset to its original location that you placed it in the date um in the engine so this allows you to bypass that so once um the event is placed and you save the position it will always be there um as long as you're in that one save game so if you go into another save game it won't um be there it will be where you started mm -mm. and you could always um you could also use this in the uh move route or move route however you prefer me saying that um the move route so you can make it every time the um event moves it saves the location that way that way it will feel more real maybe the player exits the game and come back they will um be in the same place that they left them at Map X transfer. I'm actually not using this. It's just there, just in case I need them. Um, region names. I'm gonna move down a little bit. Actually, let me do this one because I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the new scripts that I um recently got. 
um region names is um, one of them um so basically uh my world is divided um up by many different regions and these are the regions so as you can see there's quite a lot of regions in here um so what region name allows you to do is basically make it so that the um, you know how you enter a new map and then it um you could see the map name on the map. Um, it basically allows you to do that for regions. Um, that way you could um give different regions and um a different names even if they're on the same map. So we'll feel like you're going to another map or so let's say the play goes from this region to this region. You could say um entered blah 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 region and then they move on to another region blah 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 region and then let's say for example there's a city here and they enter this um region then it will say um the name of the city um so it will definitely come in handy for me because i have a big map and everything is connected i could um use it to name um give different um give different regions their names um uh, that they need i guess um, my new one ones, my new one more exciting ones that I definitely want to talk to you guys about. Um, so the um one of the new one ones that I got that I really really love, or that I haven't really been um testing it out is there's two of them. One of them is the play test, um test play setup. So it basically allows you to set up um play test. Um, you know how like let's say you want to give your character like a lot of gold. In the game, you would then have to make it. Um, you will have to make an event that gives your character that um gold or give your um actor that um item. So basically, it allows you to set it up in a script, and then every time you go inside the game, it will always give. Um, it will basically just give your um character the stuff that you need. Um, for example, I gave myself starting gold of that, and then I could add um every single item in the game, and then give myself ten of them. Every single weapon, every single um armor and i could also do some switches i could add more switches here if i want to and then it also gives you this option to make it um only oh wait where is it um yeah it allows you to um it gives you this option to make all these settings um apply to your character only when you're play testing it so when you go into so in case you forget to like um set everything to the default if you play a game regularly um, you won't have all these options, but um, if you play test it, you have all um the options. But if you set this to false, then it will also affect your main game. The other one is text test edit. Um, test edit is basically allows you to edit your game while you're playing it. Um, so I'm actually gonna show you an example of that. Let me check up on my time. Thirteen minutes. Okay. <clears throat> So, as you can see, this is my game, and I'm playing it, and I could come over here and work if I want to. Um, let me go into Dawn Hate. Let, I mean, Hollow Tips real quick, because I'm going to start a new game, and that's where I'm going to be starting at. Um, in the future, um, this I heard that the strip will also allow you to save other stuff, but the only thing it does so far is... um. Um, you could do map. You could do. You could um change your map while you're playing. So right now, oh my gosh, invisible because well, it doesn't really matter if I'm invisible or not. So I'm gonna put um this thing right here, and then this right here, and then I'm gonna save this um save my map um save my map, and then I'm gonna come back and press F7, and as you can see, um uh, my map changes were again. Um, my map changes took place. So if I erased them again, and then I saved, and then I went back into my game, I could press F7, and again, they will be gone. So I could change maps. So this is good for debugging, um, especially in the cases when, you, um, when you're when you playing your game and then you see a mapping error, you could just say, uh, okay, I could fix this. Because sometimes you might tell yourself you're going to fix it after you're done play testing. And then sometimes you forget, and then you forget. Especially when I have a huge map, um, it's hard to remember where um exactly that mapping error was. So now I could just um you know switch between the editor and um basically fix stuff. I don't know if it works with events or some other stuff like that, but right now, um, I think it only works for the map because if I try to um 
make it load other stuff it will definitely crash so let me see if this will work oh so it worked um and that was only an event that i just made and it worked so okay yeah you could do definitely more stuff um let me let me give this event dialogue real quick and see if it will actually just if it will save the stuff or is it just because it actually shows up on the map i will save this go back in here f7 okay she's moving i don't know where i'm at so let's see okay um as you can see it's, say, it's saying entering but it's not actually um giving me a name that's because it's actually a region um in this whole map so i haven't actually assigned those regions names of yet as of yet so i'm just trying to find my person oh boy you know what mm -hmm. Ah. whatever oh there we go so it's working and you could change um your character around so that's basically it for this episode in the next episode um i'm gonna go over some more scripts um that i'm using for my game and um and then the bigger more popular scripts that um i think you guys should know about that will take a lot of setting up I will make different videos for them to um, actually show you guys how to set them up and other stuff like that. So this is um, part one of many um, scripting showcase videos to come. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I was just um, telling you guys some of the scripts that I use. And also just by reading the names, you could basically tell um, which scripts they are. So, anyway, thank you guys again for watching. Make sure to subscribe to be updated every time I release a new video. Make sure to leave me a comment down below because um, I love feedback from you guys. Make sure to like this video if you liked it or dislike this video if you disliked it. And as always, well, thank you for watching. Peace.